Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. I don't know if you've ever seen videos like this before, but basically you can use this and some plastic to make a hologram effect using just your phone. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's do it. So I've just got here, it's this 16 minute video of um, various different things, usually animals and stuff like that. It's just the same image repeated four times. Um, I'll explain once I finish building this thing, all, all you need is plastic um, and uh, a bit of tape, but um, once I finish making the thing, I'll explain sort of what's, uh, what's actually going on and why this hologram effect uh, looks the way it does. It's quite interesting actually, but um, essentially all you need to do is um, make a bunch of these shapes. Shapes kind of like that out of plastic. Just need, need to make four of them um, and then tape them all together and I put the center so it'll make a little like square in the center. Put that here and it'll reflect um, what I'm seeing. There we go. Here's, it'll reflect what I'm seeing uh, on each side pretty much. So I've gone ahead and done a um, sort of template. This is about one centimeter here. It's about three and a half centimeters. This is about six centimeters. Uh, I just looked that up. Um, so I'll, I'll cut all four of them to roughly the same size as well. I actually managed to cut it quite nicely with just the scissors. So I'll do that to the rest of them. Man, last week's video I was working on white with uh, clear water. Couldn't really see it. Today I'm working on like white bench with clear plastic, you can't really see it, but I have cut out four of them. They're pretty much all the same size, one centimetre, three and a half and six centimetres like that. The next step is to tape them all together into a pyramid-like shape. Well, I've pretty much taped that together. It's a little bit flimsy, but it should do the trick. All right, so this is pretty much it here. Um, now I can probably explain what's actually happening. So it is just a 2D image that is on the, on the phone itself, right? Um, and so as you've probably guessed, as you can see that there as well, it is just a reflection. That's all it is. Uh, just at the angle I get down nice and low, kind of get, get level with it. Um, but you can see it is just a reflection. It's just the reason why you make four sides is because typically these videos have four sides like this. And if you turn it, it can kind of give off a sort of 3D effect. Um, mine's a little bit wonky, so it doesn't perfectly line up. Um, and you can see there, Jupiter. Although actually this video has been made wrong. Look at this. Uh, Jupiter over here and here is actually too far out to even properly reflect on these sides here. Okay, but yeah, look at that. So I've got a little hologram of a Christmas tree there. Um, now, the camera never does it justice. I, again, I implore you to make this and have a look at it in real life because it looks far better. It, on one side, it really does look like a hologram. It looks like it's sort of this, this thing floating, floating in the middle of what I've made. So it gives off a sort of 3D effect, I guess, because it looks like it's hovering in the center of this thing here. So this fun little illusion here, uh, you can call it the phone hologram or that sort of thing, but it's not technically a real hologram because a real hologram is actually 3D and you can physically walk around it and see different sides of it. Uh, this here creates that illusion by having the four sides so you could technically walk around it or spin it and you can see different sides but really it's just the same 2D image reflecting off each side of this here. This illusion is called the Pepper's Ghost Illusion as well because in the 1860s John Henry Pepper uh, would use it in theatrical plays and things like that. He'd get a 45 degree uh, sheet of glass or, or some kind of transparent reflective surface and then he can play, uh, have some images below it which will reflect off into the audience and it creates the illusion of depth 
um, but there's actually no depth there. It's just reflecting a 2D image back. Well, that just about does it. That's how you can sort of make a real hologram uh, at home with just some plastic and tape. Pretty cool effect, definitely recommend to try it out. But if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this one.